Joining me now, Misty Maris, trial attorney and legal analyst who's been covering this case uh, closely. Misty, you were saying to me that this testimony has completely changed your mind about the outcome of the case? Absolutely. So we've talked about this case several times, and I had always been of the opinion that the defense theory that there's this widespread conspiracy was just difficult to sell to the jury and also put them in a position where they almost shifted the burden upon themselves to put that together. Not that the burden ever shifts legally, but after this testimony, which is not just distasteful and unprofessional, but is next level on several different legal avenues as well, I think the prosecution's case is torpedoed. And I would be shocked if she was convicted. Wow. I mean, that's despite the fact that they say that they have, you know, evidence of eyewitnesses who were at the scene where she made, they said, incriminating comments. They have her car where they say there's evidence uh, that she hit him, they believe, et cetera. You think all of that falls to the wayside. I think it falls to the wayside. And I and I say that because not only, you know, these comments, obviously, there was reports that the jurors were having visible reactions when this was coming out. But what's more important here is the defense has to raise reasonable doubt. This is the lead prosecutor. And these messages went beyond these nasty comments. In what sense? Well, there's a, there's a message from 17 hours after the investigation that he sends, which says, no chance she skates. So the defense attorneys jump on that and said, well, you drew a conclusion right from the beginning who was responsible. You didn't pursue any other leads of those that could have had motive or opportunity. You shaped your narrative, and then you collected evidence to support that. And so that's something that we often see in the defense realm, that you question the veracity of the investigation. Then, but most of the time, it doesn't work. Well, it can work. Right. We're talking about reasonable doubt. or And, and look, Dan, maybe you don't get an acquittal. But I think you could hang this jury. Uh, another aspect is he's showing bias about mm -hmm. Karen Reed right from the get-go. And I just can't emphasize enough, this is the lead investigator. This is the person who's shaping the entire investigation. And I think it's irre irreparably damaged from the prosecutor's perspective. Wow. Yeah. I've changed my mind. I had a, st a real staunch stance on this. I said, I don't know how she gets out of this. Because that conspiracy theory, it's always... The simplest answer is usually the one you go yeah. with. I thought that was a hard sell, but now I'm really questioning whether or not there's even a chance for prosecutors. Wow. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.